fasten your seat belts and join the pole position team in solving the 31 cent mystery. Kuma, I'm coming for you. Like your parents were, you are the secret force of pole position. They're moving real fast, they're the only ones who Let's can get go, there on time. Okay, sis. And never too far behind, they are always fighting crime. It's not time, Dad. Ready when you are, Rhodey. In the danger zone. Pretty soon they'll be off on a mission. Hydrofoil mode, Rhodey. Yours better work, Duckett. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Ah, there they are, the pole position kids. Come on. Pretty nice turnout. Yep, I think I'll treat them to our new stunt in the show today. Hey, look! Wow! I want to get an autograph. Yeah, me too. <laughs> How about those fans of mine, huh? They're crazy about me. Can we have your autograph? Sure, I'd be happy to. You're great, Tess. Oh, Tess, your stunts are terrific. Dan, come on. Now that's more like it. They must be asking for me. Can I borrow your pen? He better be all you said he was. If you dragged me out here for nothing. Hey, don't you think I know what's writing on this? Bailey, I tell you, he's perfect. You'll see. Welcome to the Pole Position Stunt Show. Please deposit $2.50 for your ticket. Hey, that's neat. Thanks. May I have your tickets, please? Enjoy the show. be such a grout. Look at Wheel. You don't see him complaining. I'd complain, too, if I had the time. May I have your tickets, please? <laughs> Enjoy the show. There he is. Look. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> I'll have no trouble training him for the job. Uh, you're right, Duckett. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Now, let's get moving. <laughs> and for the grand finale here at the State Fair, the pole position team will present their latest thrill-packed stunt. Ready to go, Wheels? My shocks are getting too old for thrill-packed stunts. Dan, have you seen Kuma? I can't find him anywhere. He must be back at the truck. I was just there. I didn't see him. I wouldn't worry, honey. Maybe Kuma's watching the carnival rides. He always gets a kick out of that. And now the pole position team presents the double reverse. Ready, Rody? Yeah, how about you? Hey, look, man, I could do this stuff with my eyes closed and one hand tied behind my back. Oh, I see. I better watch out. Perfect, Wheels. This is no 
no trouble at all. That's easy for you to say. Ah, I'm really hot. As usual. Daisy, Kuma will be okay. Look, Kuma can take care of himself. After all, he's probably just playing with some kids and forgot what time it was. I sure hope so. It's five o'clock. Dan, it's almost morning. You look worried. Hasn't Kuma come back yet? No. Kuma! Kuma, I'm really upset. Do you know how worried I... Uh, Daisy was about you? You bad boy. Now what's he doing in my room? Sense. What on earth? Look, Kuma, I've had enough of your silly games. Now go to bed. I'm getting some sleep. Dan's right. We were worried about you. But now we've got to get some sleep, and so should you. Good night. Kuma, I thought I heard you. Like you chewed through it. Your arms, those scratches. Oh, Kuma, someone's been bad to you. What could those stones and coins mean? Maybe Wheels can figure it out. Wheels, wake up! Computers don't sleep. Come on, I need your help. Kuma's back and he. Kuma. Hey, shouldn't we get Tess or Dan? No time. But who's gonna drive? You are engage automatic pilot. Automatic pilot engage. Hurry! We can't let him catch us. Just keep an eye on him. We don't want another escape. Hurry, Wheels! We're getting closer! trouble she says she's your sister that's right officer I found her driving that car over there well not exactly driving she was in the passenger seat I assure you officer this will never happen again sure was strange almost as if the car was driving itself but that's impossible well it's a good thing she wasn't hurt I'll let her off this once, but keep an eye on your sister, or next time I'll hold you responsible. Don't worry, you can depend on us. All 
right, what's all this? They kidnapped Koma. Some guys in a beat-up green van. What? Who did what? Koma was trying to tell me something. He was putting these coins on these stones. And pointing over to those mountains, and... Oh, I'm such a dummy! I'm not gonna say a thing. Look at the faces on these coins. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln. What's that famous monument in South Dakota? Mount Rushmore. That's where they took Kuma. I'm going after them. I'm going too. We'll wait here in case Kuma comes back. Call us if you need us. Besides, it's my fault for not listening to Kuma. There, you won't get out of that harness. Now, just do what we told you to do, and we'll let you go when the job is done. Remember, it's Jefferson's left eyebrow. And if you try to get away, well, one yank of your leash, and you'll never see your friends again. That rope will guide you down, but be careful, it's dangerous. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Nope, I looked all over. The tour center doesn't open till 7. I wonder... I... I don't believe it! Rudy, we gotta hurry! I'm not back in 10 minutes, call Tess. Hey, someone's coming. What? Quick, hide behind those boulders. Kuma! I'm coming for you! Hang in there, pal. This'll teach you not to interfere. the eyebrow. Drop the eyebrow? As soon as you get up here, we'll save your friend. <laughs> At last. I've waited years for this. Hey, we better get out of here. The tourists will be starting to arrive. <laughs> oh, yeah. I promised to save your friend. Sorry, but I rarely keep my promises. <laughs> You can't leave me here! I wish I hadn't told Rody to wait ten minutes! Help! Hey, Daisy saw a beat-up green van, but Dan said ten minutes. Time's up. Here I come! A little transmitter darkened. Wheel, it's Rody. Get Tess here right away. Where's Dan? I'm not sure. Somewhere on the other side of those bones. I can't hold on much. Longer. Dan, where are you? Down 
here! What are you doing there? Oh, I just thought I needed some fresh air. Mommy, there's a man hanging from Jefferson's nose. Don't be ridiculous, Jimmy. Hurry, Rudy! One hook coming up! Are you all right? What happened? Those guys got Kuma. Hurry, I hope it's not too late. Dan, weren't you scared? Come on, I don't know the meaning of the word scared. Right. I don't see how we're gonna catch up with those guys. Easy, I'm using my sensor to keep track of its location. The van is two miles straight ahead. I gotta admit it, Rody, you've had quite a few good ideas lately. Don't you what a new set of spark plugs will do. those men taking Kuma from us. This whole thing is weird. Imagine stealing part of Jefferson's eyebrow. Quiet back there. Can't you go any faster? Reinhardt is waiting for us at the dam. Bailey, you get on my nerves more than that chattering animal. Calm down, we're almost there. The van's somewhere around here. I see it. You better let me handle this. You could get hurt. But get off me. Come on, stop. That's enough. Do you know where those men went? How are they planning to get there without their van?
Reinhardt's right on time. We gotta get to that landing field. Come on, I see them. Uh, those kids are right after us. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come on. Stay where you are, and there'll be no trouble. Don't you touch her! No, Dan. Now get out of our way. We got a plane to catch. I know it's hard to believe, but these kids recovered that priceless diamond Indian totem pole. It was stolen from an exhibit in South Dakota five years ago. Uh, you said it was hidden somewhere? Right, in Thomas Jefferson's eyebrow. In Thomas Jefferson's eyebrow? Quite frankly, I'm impressed. No one's been able to crack this case. How did you figure it out? Come on, it was a snap. I suspected those guys from the very beginning. According to their confession, when Bailey stole the totem pole, he was running from the police, right by Mount Rushmore. Some workmen were making a mold to repair a portion of Jefferson's eyebrow, which had broken off. When the men weren't looking, Bailey stuck the totem pole into the wet cement. I knew that. That's why they never caught him with it. Yep, it's easy for me to figure out. Well, I talked it over with Tess and Daisy, and they agreed there should be a little reward for the one most responsible for solving the mystery. Hey, thanks, guys. I wonder what it'll be. Tickets for a rock concert? Maybe some designer jeans? Nope, a year's supply of bananas. <laughs> 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 